Hi everyone! Today's lesson is about <laughs> Changes in materials and its effect on the environment Let's review! What's in? Direction Identify what will happen to the objects when heat is applied Match the materials in column A to the product in column B Let us now check your answers. What's new? Direction. The following materials undergo either physical or chemical changes. Identify whether the change in the materials shows good or bad effects on the environment. Number one. Old tires made into garden pots. The answer is good effect. Number two, burning of dry leaves. The answer is bad effect. Number three, cutting century-old trees. The answer is bad effect. And four, cutting fabric or clothes. The answer is good effect. Number five, Decaying unsegregated waste. The answer is bad effect. What is it? Changes in materials can cause a good and a bad effect on the environment. Some changes in materials are good for the environment. Composting, Recycling and the use of technology are some examples of good effect of the changes in materials. Composing is a way of decomposing plants or animal matter into fertilizer. Recycling helps lessen garbage by reusing them like plastic, styrofoam, old tires, and paper. Evaporation and condensation are forms of physical change in matter. Evaporation is a crucial part of the water cycle. Water from all areas on Earth will not be recycled if it will not evaporate into water vapor as clouds in the sky. Condensation is important in transforming water vapor into droplets of water stored in clouds. Some changes in the matter may result in negative effect like pollution, destruction of habitats, and loss of lives. Improper disposal of garbage, harmful chemicals, and human waste can cause changes. It can pollute air, land, and water. The burning of garbage materials releases dangerous toxic chemicals and gases that contribute to the intense greenhouse effect that may lead to global warming. Smoke from burning of fuels can cause air pollution. Cutting down trees is also harmful to our environment. It affects quality of air that we breathe. It causes a rapid change in the temperature and in turn changes the weather patterns, which leads to the other environmental concerns. Throwing into the river, the detergents used for washing the clothes makes the river become polluted because this contains toxic substances. Polluted water kills living organisms like fish and water plants. When land is dumped with garbage, the land becomes polluted. If this happens, the polluted land will serve as the breeding place for pets that carry germs, hence dangerous to human health. 
We have to do our share in maintaining a healthy environment. We must avoid too much use of electricity and gasoline. We must also avoid burning rubber tires and plastic. Practices that will produce acid rain, increase global temperature, or deplete the ozone layer must be minimized. No matter how big or small the contribution you give, what matters most is you've made a difference for our environment. What's more? Activity number one, direction. Identify which bad effect to the environment results from the following changes in matter. Choose the latter of the best answer. For A, air pollution. For B, deforestation. For C, soil pollution. And D, water pollution. You may write your answer on your notebook. Let us check your answers. Did you get all the correct answers? That's great! Hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video.